All right. Well, well. Welcome back to the part of the news that is funny on purpose. I'm Andy Reesmeyer. Before we bring up the next guest, uh, I'd like to inform you that there is a white Subaru Forester in the parking lot with its lights on. That is a white Subaru Forester. Uh, you are blocking Kirk Hawkins' Pontiac Firebird, and you don't want to be there when he wakes up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our final comic this morning, Mark Ellis. Everybody, I finally made it! Yeah! I did it! You know, what they say in comedy is when you do late night TV, you're on your way. When you do prime time, you're making a lot of money. When you do morning news on a Saturday, <laughs> it's time to move home. <laughs> you lost the gig, kid. It is really fun being here. And like, I've been really excited about this set. As a matter of fact, I've frozen out friends, family. I've been so locked in on the jokes I'm gonna do today. I even missed a text from Pedro a couple days ago. <laughs> do you wanna go see Barbie with me tonight? So. <laughs> You had to ride that one solo. You know, it's fun being here, and I've done comedy for a long time. I've never had to follow cute kittens and a horse being airlifted to safety. <laughs> New experience for all of us. This is not the first time this week I've gotten up really early because I also woke up 7 a.m. on Wednesday. Who else wanted to watch the congressional hearings on UFOs? Yeah! Oh, it was so exciting. We finally, after all these years, got proof positive that Congress can make anything boring. <laughs> I was ready to rock. I had my TV up there in my house, which is actually a studio apartment. I have my Independence Day poster, my Star Wars poster. I'm wearing a tinfoil hat. I'm eating Reese's Pieces. I'm ready to welcome visitors. <laughs> the only thing that we actually got confirmation of is that we're not allowed to call them UFOs anymore. Yeah. Don't call them UFOs because that's offensive to objects that don't fly. <laughs> We call them UAPs, and I don't know what UAP stands for. To me, I grew up with UFO. That's what I think of when I think of outer space crap. UAP sounds like that college we applied to because we know we can get in. <laughs> like, I don't know if I have the grades to go to UCLA. Can't go to USC because I'm not a fake volleyball player. So... <laughs> There was some really good news in the world of uh, graduation, actually, recently. A new record was set back east. A 98-year-old woman just graduated from college. Woo! Wow. 98. Wow. Somebody turned 94 and was like, I got to get my life together. <laughs> uh, where are you going on spring break? Heaven? <laughs> I'm just asking, and I'm so impressed because that's the difference between her generation and my generation, okay? I'm a really old millennial. She's really old, but she's still doing stuff with her life. <laughs> she's in her 90s and still wants to be productive. I'm 43. I cannot wait to get into a retirement home. <laughs> Have you seen those ads on TV? I saw an ad for this place called The Villages, right? And I want everything I'm looking at on the TV. I want the bingo, the pudding, the bedpan. I want all of it. <laughs> end of the ad is the best part because the end of the ad, their tagline, The Villages, free golf for the rest of your life. <laughs> which is awesome and a little cryptic. Yeah, yeah. Like, is that a great deal, or are they just betting that Pop-Pop ain't gonna make it? All 18 holes. You get up to the starter. Hey, what's the back nine look like? No one's ever made it that far. Good luck, dude. My name is Mark Ellis, and you guys are absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. Mark Ellis, thank you so much, buddy. It was so very funny. So uh, where can people check you out if they want to see you uh, in person? I know you're playing tonight, right? Uh, tonight I'm at the uh, World Famous Comedy Store on Sunset Boulevard. That's oh. very exciting. You're on Instagram here at Mark Ellis Live. And also, you got a brand new special out as well. A uh, brand new special. You can catch it on YouTube on All Things Comedy's channel. That's Bill Burr's network, and it's called Alive and Well. I'm at least one of those things right now. Love that. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Uh, great headshot, of course, also. As oh, well. I, I was young, I had dreams. Oh, yeah, you should see ours. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, news anchors were old. You look like you should be covering nap time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> true. Anchor boy, Andy Reesmeyer, signing off. Uh, real quickly, though, before we go to break here, make sure that you vote for your favorite at the end. Voting opens August 19th at 11 a.m. right after our show and will remain open for four days only. Check it out at ktla.com slash funny. Make sure you earn your favorite that coveted golden giggle Geiger. Can't wait to see that in real life. Uh, my mom's gonna go put me down real quickly, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. We'll be right back with more right after this. <laughs>